Today, we are gonna make some grass. No, I'm not in Colorado, so it's not gonna be that kind of grass. <laughs> it's our techniques that are so simple and sensible, your models will practically build Scare themselves. <laughs> Hello folks, it's Mad Dog Merv. Welcome to today's show. And today, uh, we're gonna paint a car body. Now there's a lot of different things you can use to paint a car body. There's uh, spray cans and get pretty good results. The problem I have using a spray can, and you can always polish out any of the um, um, orange peel that you get, but with a spray can, you're usually looking at three to five days easily before you can really get on it and do anything. Um, there's some acrylics out there that are really good. There's scale finishes, which I highly recommend their, their finishes. They're great. They're, they go on smooth. They look wonderful, have a nice gloss to them. Now they're also 12 bucks a bottle. So, um, you know, that's great. There's other things you can use. Uh, but today what we're going to look at is this little old bottle here. So most of us have some of these laying around that still say 19 cents on them. <laughs> They're still viable. This one I bought new not too long ago and paid, I don't know, like three bucks for it. But it's gloss black. And I'm going to show you how I paint a glossy paint job using these simple little paints. The nice thing about them is, is the way I do it, you can get on that paint within hours and be polishing it, be doing whatever with it. Um, it really speeds up the process as far as trying to get your project done. So today we are going to do Dom's GTX. We had uh, reviewed that not too long ago. Um, it's still available on Amazon for under 20 bucks. That's, you know, a real good deal. And we are going to take that. We are going to spray it with this. I'm going to show you how I do it. There's lots of other ways you can do it. The results are going to be good. Not perfect, but good. And is it good enough for you the way that we're going to do it? You'll have to determine that for yourself. Uh, you can polish it out and that'll be in another video that we're going to do the actual polishing to get it even smoother. But today, stick with Mad Dog Merv. I'm going to show you how to paint with these testers little bottles and an airbrush and do a nice gloss paint job on a car. So here's the subject of today's um, review. Uh, we're going to use some 1147 gloss black by Testers. It's in this little bottle, uh, 2011. Hmm. So yeah, that's a few years old. I just bought it. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take and clean up all the chrome off of the uh, tree here. And I do that using Easy Off Oven Cleaner. Put it in a bag, spray it, let it sit for a couple hours, then rinse it, and here you go. Parts look great and ready to uh, ready to get on the car. So we go ahead and assemble everything. I had to use some of my sprue goo uh, on a couple of areas because the fit just isn't quite perfect, and it's a whole lot better after I use the sprue goo to, to get it together. As you can see here in these photographs, everything seems to fit pretty decent except for the hood. <laughs> the hood's a little warped and I'm just not going to worry about it right now. Um, so back here you can see a little bit that I had to add otherwise the fit was pretty good. Now to get it primed I'm using Mr. Primer Surfacer 1000. I mix that with a little bit of the Mr. Color Thinner and go ahead and spray a light coat on the entire model and you can see what that looks like right here uh, ready to go, ready to paint. Right, so I'm going to use a fresh clean uh, one of these cups. And I'm going to take, uh, I don't know, let's see how much I wind up putting in there to begin with. I'm going to fill the bottom with this uh, gloss black. And now for the important part for what I'm going to do, I'm going to use... Um, this is the this is the lacquer thinner I get at my local hardware store, so uh, that's what I'm going to use, and I'm going to put at least that much in there. So I've got probably I don't know maybe a 
does it say like an ounce or whatever in there you can see how much and I'm gonna put again that much in here at least there we go that's a little bit more than the um, hundred percent thin and I want it I want it to be like 2% milk. So I've got it a little bit thin. I'm going to add a little more black. Okay. Um yeah, it's nice and thin. Okay, I'm using my good old Iwata um, Revolution CR that I've had forever. I've had this for many, many years. I did just clean it out. So before I'm going to do something this, I don't know, uh, precise, this important, this, I mean, it's got to be a, a really good finish. I went through and I cleaned my gun out really, really well. Um, and when I clean mine, I usually use uh, like carburetor cleaner. Yeah, spray it, and I use a little teeny brush to, you know, clean things out. And I flush it really well. So this thing is is clean. Um, you know, I've had it what 18 years? I don't know, close to that since they first came out. So I'm gonna pour that in here. And right now I've got about you know, that much in the color cup. Okay. We've tried to create as dust-free of an environment as we can out here. Um, we'll see how this goes. So now my first coats... I'm just going to be, my first coat's going to be really light. I'm just going to fog this on here. And I've got my pressure up. I'll be honest with you. Um, the pressure on this right now is up. I should probably turn it down a bit, but it's probably running about 40 pounds. Um, I had to put some air in my tire the other day, so... Like I say, I'm just going to fog it on here. This is the coat that I want the other coats to bite to. So it needs to be fairly even
So this is a pretty important one to get right because I'm gonna spray heavier color coats coming up. And you can see it's uh, it's misted on there. It's uh, you know not a great spray pattern. If I just left it like this, it's gonna look real crappy. But don't worry. So I'm gonna let this flash off for maybe 10 minutes. Uh, the nice thing with the lacquer thinner, it'll cause it to flash off quickly. And then I can look and see if there's any imperfections that I need to hit with the pad. And this is, I think, an 1800 or maybe this is a 2000 polishing pad. I don't want to hit it just yet, but I want to give it about that 10 minute mark so that it's, um, it's flashed off, but it's not, how can I put it? Um, I'm not going to leave marks and stuff on it. I'm just going to be able to knock down anything that's that's high that I don't want on here. So we'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, uh, I've given it about 10 minutes. And I'm going to come back. And I'm going to look for anything that's an imperfection, like a, a hair. And you can see, I can. it's flashed off. I can put my finger on it. I don't want to push, or I'm going to leave a finger mark. But I want to see anything that's that's kind of an imperfection. And anything that I need to just kind of hit with this um, with this polishing pad. And it will leave scratches, so you got to be careful. Um, and I'm okay with those those few little scratches because you'll see we'll fill those in just nicely here in a moment. So it seems like I've gotten all the imperfections out that I want. Very little in the way of imperfections, which is great. So now, I'm not going to thin this paint at all. We're just going to go right back in. Give it a quick stir in the gun. Hmm. Slopped a little bit out there. Okay. And... We're going to give it a little bit thicker coat, a little more, make sure we're a little more even. Get anything that we missed before. And I'm not really fogging this on, I'm putting this on a little bit thicker. I want to make sure to overlap on my sprays. Get some more ready to go. Don't have to do any mixing. Dang, I keep spilling it. Sorry, I keep slopping it out of my cup there. Some nice even strokes. Got to put some more air in the compressor. I can hear it running low. Be very careful with handling this. Okay. Oops.
The um, advantage of this over just a spray can, a spray can is going to give you, you know, a good wide pattern, but you're not going to be able to control how much pressure. Where with this fuel action airbrush, I control that right here on my finger. around this see how I feel okay this is after our second coat which is really our first good heavy color coat and you can see how it's looking this flashes off very quickly now so I'm not going to give it any real time I am going to look at it and see if there's any imperfections that are glaring that I need to take care of. I don't see anything. So now, I'm going to take some of this lacquer thinner. Let's see about that much. And I'm going to put a little bit of paint in. Maybe... Uh, well, you, you saw, not, not very much. This is going to be a really watered down version. And this is almost like a wash. You can see that. This is almost like a wash. It's what, it, uh, what the consistency is. Now the idea here is to have it kind of heavy with the um, lacquer thinner because we want to kind of burn in this paint if you will and make sure and like uh, get really good coverage though with this You can see we're going through it pretty quick because it's so thin. around for anything that seems imperfect if I've got any you got to be careful because if you if you stop at a at any point on here when that's blown out at the higher pressure you're going to get a run or a sag or a puddle you don't want those things now just because I am the way I am I'm going to mix up a little more color. And you see I got about that much. And just a little bit of a little bit of black. Mostly thinner. Oh, 
looks like I'm spraying window tint. <coughs> Just a quick spray over this whole thing one more time. Hey guys, this is uh, this is where we are at on this. Um, if I want a more perfect paint job, then I'm definitely going to need to uh, polish it out so that it is perfectly smooth and flat. But right now, um, it's looking pretty good. We're going to need to give this some time. It's got a lot of lacquer in there, so uh, we don't want to have any lacquer checking. We definitely want to give it some time to uh, harden up now. I just want to make sure I've got everything I want covered because I don't want to have to come back and do anything else. Sure all my mirrors are done. I'm I'm happy with where it's at right now. We'll see how this is. You can see it's not perfect. But it's not bad. So we're going to come back. Um, we'll check on it in about a half hour and see where it's at. Again, this flashes off quickly, and it will take some time to completely dry and, and harden up. That, that it will do. But... It's not going to take weeks, like um, <laughs> like when you just use the testers, like the testers gloss black spray, and spray on there. Um, <laughs> it's going to take a week before you can even handle it. So, anyway, we'll come back and take a look at this here in a little bit. Well, this video was just a little bit long. I didn't want to speed things up because I wanted to show you in real time how this how this paint goes down and how it all works so sorry it's a little bit long uh, we are going to have a part two where we actually polish this out but uh, for now thanks for joining us